What's up guys, Kapil here. Welcome to my channel, Salesforce Bold. Guys, in today's video, we'll be testing web to lead form. Uh, we'll be testing like how secure it is, can it be hacked and is it spam free and how you can make it more secure. So guys, before starting the video, please click on the like and subscribe button. It really motivates me to create more content for you guys. And let's get started guys. I'll be sharing my screen now. All right, guys. So for today's demo, we'll be creating a web to lead form very quickly. Okay, so to create a web to lead form, uh, log into your developer console and just search for web to lead in the quick find window. And this will be the default screen for the web to lead form. You can select the fields from the available fields to the selected fields, and this will be your written URL. So, guys, uh, first of all, to make the form secure, uh, we have to use the uh, captcha in the form guys by using the captcha uh, we can prevent uh, bots to create uh, spam or some unwanted content uh, through our form through our form automatically so to prevent the bots we can uh, use the captcha here so guys uh, first of all we need to create a captcha so just go on google and search for google captcha i'm creating a new captcha here And guys, if you need uh, steps again to create the capture, you can just di directly go to my blog. I'm having a post there uh, to create a capture. Click on search and search for capture. Here it is. So guys, in this post, I'm having step by step uh, instruction like how you can generate a new capture and what version capture you, know, you should generate for your web form. Okay, so here we are creating a new capture. Uh, let's name it. Uh, new capture okay guys I'm I will be using I'm not robot capture okay and we have to add a domain here guys uh, capture is related to a particular domain so like if you run the form offline so the capture will not uh, be displaying because uh, it will only uh, display on that particular domain which you will be entering here so for testing purpose let's just say the domain is test.com okay i'm the owner of the captcha okay accept recapture term send alerts to owner all right okay guys so this is my captcha site key and secret now let's go back to the web to lead setup here's the captcha key pair we have to create a new captcha here all right Let me just create a new captcha by inserting my security key. Okay. Okay, so it is getting disappeared whenever we are uh, changing the tab. Let's try it once again. Okay, this is a strange issue. Let's see. Let's try it one more time. Okay, now it should stay here. Okay, so it's not staying there. So let's do one thing. Let's just copy the secret and key to somewhere else first. Alright, so I have copied it here. Let's keep it aside and create new capture. Okay, click on new. Now, yeah, there it is. So my capture name will be new capture. Guys, it's an API name, so you cannot use white space here. This is my side key okay this is my secret all right let's save it so a new captcha is created successfully now let's minimize this window and maximize it here's my new captcha and let's generate the form now okay so this is our code guys let's test this code in the html ok 
okay it is saved i'm saving it on desktop let's name it form dot html okay guys so it is saved successfully now let's uh, run it quickly here is my form okay so let's open it in google chrome so guys as you can see the captcha is not working and it will not work on this local side because it's related to a domain and it will only work on that domain but we can test the remaining features so guys by uh, inserting the captcha we can prevent the bots but still the form is not secure because we are not having any validations here like it is not required like if i click the submit button directly so the form is submitting right now so basically there, there are no validation right now so let's put some validation here let's make the field required okay let's make all the fields required okay okay so all the fields are required now let's test it one second all right so required field validation is working now so guys uh, you might be thinking like the form is secure now like nobody can send us spam or anything but the form is still not secure like using the captcha we can prevent bots to create a spam uh, and unwanted content but uh, using the captcha we cannot uh, prevent human to create unwanted content like uh, uh, if you have noticed guys like while using the required feed validation on javascript javascript will consider a white space character as a character so like if you if you if we insert a white space here so it will consider it as a character and it will skip the required field validation let me show you so as you can see guys the required field validation uh, is missing on the first name now because we are having a white space character here so guys to prevent this also we have to use some custom validation we have to use some pattern in it so guys uh, every time while i create a web to lead form i'm having this document beside me uh, here I, i'm having some character uh, some character numbers uh, validation patterns here guys so to make it more secure and prevent humans to create sp spam messages we have to add some patterns here so let's add the pattern here this okay so i'm having the character only pattern the character plus number alpha numeric uh, pattern email pattern and number only pattern so guys for let's use the character only pattern first okay this is the last name and last name also will be having character only mm -hmm. and in email i will have the oh looks like steve jobs is also watching my video <laughs> let me just move it okay so guys an email we will be having email pattern here it is all right for company we can have alpha numeric pattern here character plus numbers okay for city we can have the text only pattern the character only pattern and for the state also we can have character only pattern and guys in this in this form we are not having any numeric field only like uh, uh, we could have phone number here so for phone numbers you can use the number only pattern and guys i'll be uh, leaving this pattern in the description below of my videos so you can just go and directly check that out and uh, yeah guys that's it for today uh, let me just uh, show you a final output of this form okay so now suppose if we click on submit button directly it says please fill out this form and now if i insert a white space here okay. let's test again okay it says please match the requested format the format is not matching here or if we put characters here so it will still 
it will throw the error again and let's put some character only here okay guys as you can see it's working absolutely fine so whenever you will create a, a web delete form just uh, keep uh, these things in mind like you have to put some extra efforts by uh, including some required field validation and a pattern in it okay guys that's it for today i hope you learned something new hey guys i hope you like this video please don't forget to share it with your friends and click on the like and subscribe button and guys let me know if you have any queries in the comment section below guys i'll try to revert back as soon as possible i'll see you in the next one guys till then bye jai hind peace